Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. I wanted to take the question of cholesterol a little bit deeper and uh, talk about it, how it relates to the arteries and what is its role and why do we sometimes find it in the arteries. When um, I think we need to understand why we get um, a build up in the arteries of, of materials um, and uh, the best analogy I can use for you is that, let's say for example, you were to scrape your arm or uh, your hands or something like that, and I'm sure as a child everyone would have done that. What happens is the body forms a, a, a scab to protect the damaged area, enabling it to then be repaired. It seals out the, any bacteria, enables the repair function so that the skin will heal and come good again. Inside the arteries we see something uh, similar again that what happens when there is damage that occurs inside the arteries and that damage can occur for a number of reasons. There could be some viruses down there that damage the, uh, the, the inner lining of the arteries. There could be uh, what, what we'll call hydraulic wear and tear where you know the heart's pumping and these arteries are expanding all the time and particularly where, they, where there are joins, like where it's a straight line, it's generally not an issue, but where it curves or where you have what we'll call a y, a y point where the blood flows and suddenly has to split out. Those points take a, a fair bit of wear and tear and so sometimes we can detect a buildup of some material there um, because of, of, for two reasons, it's either damage to the surface or it's because of the wear and tear where the body senses that it's, it, the area is weakening and so it tries to strengthen it by laying down some material. Now that's actually not a bad thing because in a number of cases if it doesn't try to strengthen the area the risk one has is, is a, a, um, a hemorrhage whereby the pipe area will literally burst, a bit like a plumber talking about the bursting of a pipe. You can have a bursting of a blood vessel causing a very dangerous situation and so the human body is smart enough to see those and tries to repair it. Now many years ago when they were looking at v uh, Vietnam War uh, casualties they noticed that some of them had a build up in their arteries and it was a fatty material and there was some cholesterol in there as well as some other materials and for some reason someone was convinced that this fatty build up caused heart disease. The reality was those buildups were occurring there because of, of the diet in the people at the time and lack of certain foods in the diet causing a condition which is not dissimilar to psoriasis or eczema on the outside. You can have these same types of conditions occurring on the inside in the blood vessels. But the, the main difference is because the blood vessels are a wet area, the only way, you know, if you have a scab on your skin, you won't find too much cholesterol on that, for example, as part of the buildup. Cholesterol is a waterproof material. Inside the blood vessels, it's a wet area, and so one of the reasons the cholesterol is there is because it's effectively a, a type of waxy material that, that in, in coating the area with a number of constituents, be it fibrous material, there are lipids, which are sort of fats and oils, um, there is calcium there, and there's a tiny bit of, of cholesterol, and it, it builds up there in the hope of healing the area and then over time it can disappear again if the area heals. But if the underlying cause is continuous then it'll, it'll stay there. The reality is that the cholesterol component in that buildup is actually quite low. And uh, the, the real question is what is causing the damage? Now hydraulic wear and tear, I'm not sure what one can do about that, but if it's caused by by dietary issues or by diseases and so on, well maybe uh, that one can do a little bit more. But the reality, I think the message I want to get across to you here is that any cholesterol that is found there is trying to do its job to help repair the damage. And I view cholesterol in that context as a bit like um, the, someone who's standing at the scene of the crime and, and the, uh, the people who caused the crime have all done a runner and disappeared. The casualty is lying there on the floor and an innocent bystander there trying to be of help. Suddenly the police arrive and they look around and they say, they see this person who's dead on the ground and they see a person standing next to him. So they assume that person to have been the, the person that actually killed the casualty. And so cholesterol in many ways you know, has been tarnished the same way that in, in very, you know, one thing science has a lot of complexity to it. 
um, and that there's a lot of intelligence that goes behind it. But the reality is often there's a lot of, of misalignment of thinking. And when they saw some cholesterol in the arteries, people in their wisdom, scientists kind of thought, oh, well, that's the cause of the problem, the, the cholesterol. No, no, no. The cholesterol was there trying to help the problem, um, but it was basically at the scene of the crime and so was implicated. And for many years, you know, we've continued that, that thought. And like many uh, things, if it's said often enough, people get to believe it. So I want you to understand that cholesterol has a real role there. And if it wasn't there, then one of the consequences would be, as I mentioned before, you could literally blow a pipe and be dead if cholesterol and some of the other materials weren't there to try to strengthen the arteries. Okay, so Mother Nature puts it there for a purpose. The idea that it just sits there and, and that if you eat cholesterol, that somehow it sort of uh, sticks up against the wall of the arteries, you know, is scientifically unsound. It just doesn't work that way. The human body is too smart. You know, it's been evolving over millions of years. And the idea that cholesterol, whether you eat it or whether you make it yourself, just willy-nilly sticks to the arteries and builds up, right? If that's where your thinking is at, well, I think you've got a lot of reading to do because that's just not the case. Now, uh, many people believe that to be the case. It's just not the case. We'll see you next time.